FTX reorganization plan gets overwhelming approval from creditors. Former U.S. House candidate and FTX executive face campaign finance charges. U.S. Ether ETFs experience five straight days of outflows. India prepares key cryptocurrency legislation with potential major changes. FCC fines telecom company $1 million for AI-generated disinformation using President Biden's voice. Get ready for the next exciting phase of Gala's Tap to Earn gaming rollout. Powered by Telegram's mini app ecosystem, Ton and Gala Chain, we're introducing yet another way to stack amazing token rewards for simple and free gameplay. Gala Coin is free and easy to play on mobile, launched with the help of your neighborhood-friendly Gala Coin bot directly through Telegram. Each and every one of your friends is a ticket to additional Gala rewards. When you invite a new friend, you'll get special Gala bonuses, even in addition to the standard Gala point bonuses received by both you and the referred player. Start playing now. FTX's reorganization plan got massive support, with over 95% of creditors backing it. This marks a major step in their efforts to restructure and move forward. Michael Bond, a former U.S. House candidate, is facing campaign finance charges. An FTX executive allegedly arranged a $400,000 contribution to support Bond's run, adding to FTX's legal troubles. U.S. Ether ETFs are facing challenges with five straight days of outflows, the longest since their launch. The initial hype seems to be cooling off. India could see big changes in its crypto landscape. The Department of Economic Affairs is working on a consultation paper, signaling potential new regulations for the country. The FCC fined Lingo Telecom $1 million for using AI to spread disinformation, including AI-generated recordings of President Biden. This raises concerns over the misuse of AI technology. That's it for today. If you found this useful, like and subscribe for more updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. See you next time.